Hey, I'm Neil Robertson, and I'm going to show you what's inside my snooker case. So I've got a John Paris uh, cue. He makes these for, for all, the, all the players. Um, and I put in a request to have Alexander and Penelope's name on, on the handle. I think I saw Mark Williams do that with his kids for the, for the first time um, quite a few years ago. And I thought that was a really nice touch. So, um, yeah, so I'll open it up and see what's inside. I don't have as many pieces of chalk as, like, Judd Trump's even got, like, um, ball markers inside his case. Um, so, yeah, I've got a John Paris Q. Um, comes with, like, the tip protector here because um, it's really important that sometimes if it's raining or something, the, the atmosphere or even there's been times when players have been carrying the Q around um, and uh, rain droplets can get on the tip. And if that happens and you need to replace your tip, it's an absolute nightmare. So... Um, yeah, so I've got like the long extension here, the short extension. Um, here I've got a just like a little um, uh, a little device here, that, well, a little container that's got like a spare a spare tip inside. Should um, something happen to that one, I can I can get Paul Collier or Martin Clark to uh, put a new tip on for me. Um, I've got a random uh, poppy pin there. Uh, <laughs> And then in here, I've got two pieces of chalk. Use the town chalk. This is the pyro. This is the one I'm currently using. And this is the new one, the version version, uh, version 10. So I haven't tried this one yet, but I like the pyro because it's blue. Um, that's my favorite color. <laughs> uh, here, I've got a couple of pieces of sandpaper just to um, any sort of minor repairs on the tip. Nothing really too serious, just to there's any little sort of fibers coming off the sides just to, to help kind of get rid of that because it's really annoying as a player. When I mean, you're looking down the queue and you're seeing little fibers on the end of the tip. Um, I just got like a random end of a nine ball thing here just to stop this clicking. Uh, then I've got a like a file for the tip just to like um, put some indentations in it if I think that the um, conditions aren't reacting too well. It just helps put a little... Um, yeah, some indentations in the tip so the chalk holds better. This is my cheat sheet. So I've written it in uh, code here. Just a few things that, I, um, that I'm always just working on. That, but I mean, it's been the same for, for a few years, really. And um, just, you know, sometimes have a little look at it if I don't think I'm playing particularly well. And then um, it's written in code. So the idea is, is that no, no player can work out what, what's, what's, uh, what's written there. Um, but the idea is just to check it every now and again and make sure I am doing those things. And then um, sometimes it can remind me, yeah, maybe I wasn't quite doing this how I, how I should be. And then, um, yeah, then that sort of resolves any of those issues. And, yeah, then I'm good to go. So, um, yeah, that's what's inside my case.